My favorite way to cook rice is actually by using a pressure cooker. Not only is it really fast, but it actually breaks down the protein in the rice and makes it actually healthier for you. Some of you may have some trouble, uh, for example, gluten. A lot of people avoid gluten because it's a protein found in wheat that causes some irritation. Well, rice also has proteins and they're called lectins. And by pressure cooking rice, you're actually breaking those lectins down and it makes the rice easier to digest and if you have reactions to rice normally, then you probably wouldn't have reactions to rice if you cook it using a pressure cooker. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Super easy, all you need is an electric or a stove top pressure cooker and some rice. Here we go. So washing rice is pretty easy. You literally just run it under cold water and this just gets all of the anti-caking agents and anything else that might foam up the water while you're cooking it. Okay, so there's nothing easier than making rice in a pressure cooker. In fact, if you're trying to pressure cooker for the first time, rice is the thing that you should make because you can't really fail at it. All right, so let's go through this recipe. And by the way, you can use an electric pressure cooker or a regular pressure cooker. In this video, I'm using uh, a simple Cuisinart electric pressure cooker. Okay, so the first thing we do is get your rice in there. This is one cup of washed basmati rice, two cups of water, and about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so you put that in there, get the lid on it, okay, and we're going to cook this on high pressure for three minutes. So what we'll do here is we'll let this cook on high pressure for three minutes. Once the high pressure cook is done, we're gonna turn the pressure cooker off and we're gonna wait seven minutes until we let the rest of the steam out and open it up. Okay, so our three minutes is up. So now it's in the warming mode and I wanna turn it completely off. Okay, so now it's off and we're just gonna wait seven minutes. All right, so now we've waited seven minutes and I didn't even have to let the pressure out. Okay, you see the security valve here, it dropped by itself. That's just because we made a little bit of rice and we only used two cups of water, so there wasn't really that much steam in here to begin with. All right, if it was a larger quantity of rice, then maybe you would have had to flip this to let the steam out. In, in either case, so we waited our seven minutes and now we're gonna open the lid. And here we have our perfectly cooked basmati rice. You can do this with any white rice, long grain white rice, jasmine rice, basmati rice. Brown rice is a different game, but any white rice you can cook in a pressure cooker using this method. You basically put in the rice, you put in the amount of water that you normally would put, which is usually one part rice to two parts water, and you cook on high pressure for three minutes and then let it chill out for seven to 10 minutes before you open it up. Look how nice and fluffy this rice is. Put some butter on that and you have a beautiful bowl of pressure cooked rice in about 15 minutes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions help keep this channel alive and they help me make more videos. And if you like the videos, please give the video a like. I would greatly appreciate it. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.